so score is 100 percent penalty is 0 percent and runtime is that much python all that you can see so basically you all can see that with just five lines of code we have completely run our program it's all done and kept ready hello everyone my name is brian thomas and welcome back to my youtube channel so once again in today's video we have come across another interview problem given by coding ninjas called find the duplicate in the array so as you can see the web page behind me you all have the problem statement on the coding ninjas website right open behind me once again you all know it we are going to be jumping on my jupyter notebook for the explanation and the program and the whole video so let's jump on to my jupyter notebook So here you all have coding ninjas in the beginning, then we have find duplicate and array, then you have the most important statement called the problem statement. Here what do we need to do? You are given an array of integers there are containing n elements. Each integer is in the range 1 to n minus 1 with exactly one element repeated in the array. That means you are given an array with exactly one element repeated in the array. Your task is to find the duplicate element. Okay. So input format, output format, we'll just see that. So the input format, if you all see, we have the first line of input as integer t, denoting the number of test cases, as all the previous programs we have seen. Second line, the first line of each test case contains an integer n for the number of elements to be present in the array. And the second line of each test case contains n separated, n space separated integers representing the elements of the array. Okay, n space separated integers representing the elements of the array. Output format for each test case, the duplicate elements of the given array is printed. The output of each test case is printed on a separate line. Okay. Then we have sample input and sample output. Sample input 1 is the number of test cases. 3 is the number of elements to be present in the array. And 1, 1, 2 is the elements in the array. Now what is the repeating number in 1, 1, 2? Of course it is 1. Hence the sample output is 1. 1 is repeated in the array. Hence the function returns 1. So we have again the whole program here. I'll just tell you all the output and then come to it in the end. So here we have taken a different test case, uh, sorry, different, uh, what do you say, input, where the number of test cases is three. We have entered the number of numbers to be entered, five, and enter the numbers of the array, one, three, four, two, two. That means first test cases are three. How many numbers you want to input in the array? Five. What are the numbers? One, three, four, two, two. Hence, 1, 3, 4, 2, 2 is present in the array, where i is the outer loop, j is the inner loop. i, j you can see right here. So, this, you can just get a basic understanding. The first element is compared to the remaining four elements. So, what we are doing right here is 1 is compared to 3, 4, 2, 2. Second element will be compared to remaining three elements. Third element will be compared to remaining two elements. Fourth element will be compared to the last element. And then the loop is done. So, you can see right here. Uh, 1 is compared to 3, 4, 2, 2. Is it equal? No, all are different, hence false. 3 is compared to 4, 2, 2. Is any equal? No, all are false. 4 equal to 2, any equal? No, all are false. And in the end, we get 2 equal to 2, hence Boolean is true. Repeating element is 2. Okay, we are actually trying to find the repeating element in the array. That's all we need to find, the duplicate element. This was the first test case. Now we have the second and third test case remaining. Second test case, you see, enter the number of numbers to be entered again, 5. What are the numbers? 3, 1, 3, 4, 2. 3, 1, 3, 4, 2. Okay. Again, ij is the outer loop, inner loop, same thing. 3 is equal to 1, false. 3 equal to 3, yes, true. Hence, the repeating element here is 3. Now, is 3 equal to 4? No. 3 equal to 2? No. What is it doing? It is comparing 3 to the remaining 4 elements, 1 to the remaining 3 elements, 3 to the remaining 2 elements, 4 to the remaining 1 element. That's all it is doing. Not a big deal. Then we come, 1 is being compared to the remaining 3, all are false. 3 is being compared to the remaining 2, all are false. 4 is being compared to 2, again, false. So there's nothing else repeating. Only 3 was repeating. So the repeating element right here is 3. Again, enter the numbers to be entered, 3. Number, uh, enter the numbers of the array, 1, 1, 1. Inner loop, outer loop, same thing. 1 is compared to 1, 1 is compared to 1, 1 is compared to 1, everything same. Hence, we get repeating element as 1 itself. So basically what we are doing is traversing through the array and finding the repeated number and returning it. Very simple, that's all we are doing, okay? Now we come to the part by part explanation. First line is always the same, test cases input, taking the input for number of test cases. <coughs> then we have uh, the while loop. This is the same for the past two videos also that we have done. 
test case is greater than 0, uh, first we are taking the number, number of elements to be entered, then we are entering the elements in the array, and then we are passing the uh, array and the length of the array in a function called find duplicate. Okay, array and number of length of the array will be as the parameters. So you, all, you all can read this as well, what we are doing. Yeah, now we come to the most important part, the function find duplicate. So we are setting i as the outer loop and j as the inner iterator and checking one by one array elements if they are matching and if they are matching, print the array element. Find duplicate, array list, int n is int, just specifying the data type, what is it, okay. We are specifying i as the outer iterator, j as the inner iterator, where i will be from 0 till the end of the array, okay, and j will be from i plus 1 till the end of the array. So if i is at 0 position, starting from 0 position, j will start from 1 position, okay, and array will keep on moving same way. So they will never coincide with each other. It will always be j, uh, i is outer, j is inner. So if i is 0, j will be 0 plus 1, 1. i is 1, j will be 1 plus 1, 2. It will keep moving that way. And if you are finding that array of i is equal to array of j, that means if the elements are matching, the array elements are matching at different positions, then print the array element. Okay? Very simple, not a big deal. Then we come to program with simple output. Here again we see is that this is the basically the output they want at the Coding Ninja's website. So again we will just run here and see, we will see 1, enter 3, enter 1, space 1. Okay, 2 space 1 again doesn't make a difference, same thing. Okay, the array element, the array element repeating is again 1. We get the output as 1, as simple as that, not a big deal. And then another simple thing, the program submitted at Coding Ninjas will be just this function with 4 lines of code in it. That's all, that's all you require. So right here if you all see, we have the find duplicate and array, the code right here on the right hand side. All you have to do when the code is ready is that this is all the code that you require. Okay, I'll just remove the unnecessary lines. Not necessary, not necessary, not, not necessary, cool. So all we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 lines of code, that's all is required for this simple problem, there's no big deal at all, I'll tell you how it is done. One of the most simple ones right here, just hit run code, it'll do the sample test cases check. Okay, once that is done, we'll just see, okay, yeah, so it is done. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the 5 test cases have been passed, all the correct answers, after that hit submit. Once you hit submit, we have a compilation check test done, large test cases check and the optimal code test check done. Yep, there it is and uh, optimal code test, yeah that's also done. So score is 100%, penalty is 0% and runtime is that much, Python, all that you can see. So basically you all can see that with just 5 lines of code, we have completely run our program, it's all done and kept ready. So basically yeah, this is also done, <laughs> the find duplicate and array is also done, very simple, you all itself saw not a big deal at all. So guys, thank you all for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such better content. We will be doing CP, that's competitive programming. We will be doing hands-on tutorials. I will be teaching you all AI, machine learning algorithms as well, deep learning algorithms as well, phase detection, self-driving, using Huff Transform and Canny and all those. There are many such programs coming where I will be even telling you all how to make an air mouse. That means you have to just take your finger this way and rotate it across the screen and in real time the mouse will move on the monitor and same program the air mouse if you have your fingers this way you can move your fingers this way the volume will increase and decrease in real time so if your hands become this way index finger and the thumb the volume will increase to 100 percent and if you reduce it this way it will become to zero percent so you all can control the volume level this way as well so there are many more such programs which we will be doing including something called as OCR Google it or find out what it is or wait till I upload a new video for that so guys once again don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you all for watching take care bye bye